Today on Ballistic Burgers, by request, we are going to be cooking up the White Mana Cheeseburger out of Hackensack, New Jersey. Let's get going. So big shout out goes to one of my subscribers, Nick, who suggested that I try to recreate this burger. I'm very excited. I actually knew very little about this burger until I started to dig into it. And it is a very acclaimed burger. It's been on, you know, Anthony Bourdain's show, Divers, Drive-Ins and Dives, uh, the best I've ever eaten on Food Network. It's, it's got a lot of notoriety and I'm excited about cooking this up. It was founded, White Manor was founded at the World's Fair in 1939, 1946. They opened up their location in Hackensack, New Jersey. And they've been cooking burgers ever since. This is a little different. I'm excited about this. Let's get going. So we're cooking on the flat top right now and it is turned down to low. So I've done other recreations, including the Rockies Crown Pub Burger out of San Diego here, where they're using a really low temperature. Honestly, I think the reason is it's easier to manage a ton of hamburgers when you're cooking it at this low temperature. The results are different. We're cooking below that Maillard reaction temperature, so we're not gonna get a really good, nice caramelized sear on it. It's gonna be more like a steamed burger. So it's gonna be juicy, it's going to be beefy. It's gonna be good, but again, a little different than what we're used to. So I'm using 80-20 ground beef here, and these are two ounce meatballs. And one of these burgers is going to be a double, so what they do is just simply put the other meatball on top. Sliced onions, and these are paper thin. So this very much reminded me of a lower temperature cooked Oklahoma onion burger. And kind of like in Oklahoma, it beat the crap out of the burgers a little bit. So you can see how these literally look like they're steaming. Now the top of these burgers is getting nice and wet with that burger juice coming through, so it's telling me it's time to flip. And like I said earlier, you're not gonna see that nice golden brown on the flip. It's gonna be more of a grayish tone. on each burger. At White Manor, they're using Martin's potato buns. I can't buy those here, I have to order them, so I'm using something that's fairly close to the same size at least, just basic hamburger buns. So we're putting it bottom down, and the top bun on top of that. So now all that steam is coming up through the buns, making them really nice and soft. I forgot to mention earlier, you probably noticed, no salt, no pepper. They don't season the meat patties, they're just cooking them as is, like Rocky's Pub does. All right, these are done. So go ahead and scoop it up. Put this top bun on the bottom here, and then slide it off. Garnish just with a big old stack of pickles. And I present the White Mana Cheeseburger. So I'm really getting a nice strong odor of that grilled onion in a good way, it smells really good. Now when the owner of this restaurant is wrapping these things up after the cook, he's asking ketchup. I saw this on the videos. And some people are opting for ketchup, some aren't. And I also noticed some mustard sitting there and reading some of the Yelp reviews, I know that mustard's also an option. So I'm going to be uh, hitting some of these with uh, or one with ketchup, one with mustard, one with both, one with none, and we'll see what I like best. So I'll hit this one with a little ketchup. This one with a little mustard. This one with both. Well, 
Let's see what's going on here. All right, and first I'm going with the ketchup. It smells really good. I mean, it smells similar to a White Castle slider. Looks very much like an Oklahoma onion burger initially on the grill here. It doesn't taste like an Oklahoma onion burger. We're missing that heavy caramelization from the onion, but it's good. More like a steamed burger. Let's go with the mustard. That mustard, you're getting a, a much more intense first impression. When you're bringing it up, you can smell that heated up mustard. And of course, that mustardy kind of kind of burn, I guess you'd describe it, vinegary burn when you're biting into it. I like mustard. Now let's go for the one with both. Personally, I like the one with both. It's more of a, like a burger sauce. This is different. It, it seems so basic, which it is, but it's, it's different. Here's that double burger, again, with double the meat. Mm. This has nothing on it. It's still really, really good. As far as there's no ketchup or mustard. It's a good burger, and I can see why it's lasted so long. Out here in San Diego, there is a little, a little pub that serves a very popular burger. It's called Rocky's Crown Pub. And I did a copycat of that. And I was actually sitting at the end of the bar where I could see the, the kitchen. And I was, I noticed, wow, it has taken a long time. It took eight minutes before they flipped the burger. They were much thicker than these, but that's how I kind of learned about a lot of these burger places, you know, they're cooking with a really low temp. And this is a good example. Again, they started out at the World's Fair. I'm sure they just have piles of hamburgers going on. And this way, they can manage a ton of burgers and not overcook them. It's good. I, I do like a nice caramelized smash burger. I think I prefer that over this technique. But it's definitely a good, good burger. And White Mana is on my list of places that I really want to go. It, it, I guess there's lines out the door for this place. So if you're in Hackensack, New Jersey, check it out. Nick, thanks for the request. I really appreciate it. This, this was fun. I, again, it was something that I'd never really heard of, and I'm wondering why, because it's a very popular burger. Anyway, if you're not subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell. Thumb up the video if you liked it. Keep those requests coming in. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.